This video provides an example on how to determine a Poisson distribution probability using a formula. A company makes electric motors. The probability an electric motor is defective is 0.01. What is the probability that a sample of 300 electric motors will contain two or less defective motors? So the first thing we need to recognize here is we need to calculate mu or the mean, which is equal to the defective rate times the sample size, which gives us 0.01 times 300, which is equal to three. So we have a Poisson distribution with a mean of three. And because we're trying to find the probability that a sample of 300 electric motors will contain two or less defective motors, we need to find the probability that x is less than or equal to two. And because we have an inequality symbol here, we will have to sum multiple probabilities. The probability that x is less than or equal to two is equal to the probability x equals zero plus the probability x equals one plus the probability x equals two. And now we can determine this sum by using the formula shown below for the probability x equals k. For the probability x equals zero, we use k equals zero. For the probability x equals one, we use k equals one. And for the probability x equals two, we use k equals two. And we always use mu equal to three. So we have the probability that x is less than or equal to two equals, for the probability x equals zero, we substitute zero for k and three for mu, which gives us three to the power of zero times e to the power of negative three divided by zero factorial. Again, we have k equal to zero and mu equal to three. And then we have plus the probability x equals one. So now we substitute one for k and three for mu which gives us three to the power of one times e to the power of negative three divided by one factorial. Again, we have mu equal to three and k equal to one. And then we have plus the probability x equals two. Now we substitute two for k and three for mu, which gives us three to the power of two times e to the power of negative three divided by two factorial. And now we evaluate the sum on the calculator. Now we could simplify these first two fractions quite a bit since zero factorial is equal to one, three to the zero is equal to one, three to the first is equal to three, and one factorial is equal to one. But I'll go ahead and enter them in just as they look. To four decimal places, we have 0 0.4232, which is 42.32%. I hope you found this helpful.